E. coli outbreak that has sickened 37 people in four states may be linked to Wendy's lettuce. 37 related cases of E. coli have been reported in four states, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. Over the span of just two weeks, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention said Friday, health officials have not confirmed the source of the bacteria. But the CDC said that many people have reported feeling ill after eating burgers and sandwiches with Romian lettuce at Wendy's restaurant in Michigan, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. Investigators are working to confirm whether Romian lettuce is the source of this outbreak and whether Roman lettuce used in Wendy's sandwiches was served or sold at other businesses, the CDC said in an online update. The agency added that Wendy's is removing Roman lettuce from sandwiches sold in the region. Wendy's salad used a different type of Roman, according to the CDC. The agency does not recommend that people avoid eating at Wendy's or stop consuming Romaine in general since there's no evidence that the lettuce sold in the grocery stores or other restaurants contain E. coli. The case reported thus far 19 in Ohio, 15 in Michigan, 2 in Pennsylvania, and 1 in Indiana. Are genetically linked, there are hundreds of E. coli strains, but the people who've been infected all had a particular one, E. coli 0157H7 which is associated with severe illness. The illness in this outbreak started within a short time period, very recently. This is certainly concerning and warrant investigation, CDC spokesman Tom Skinner said. The strain in question produces a toxin called Shiga that can lead to symptoms such as bloody diaries, intense stomach cramps, and in rare cases, kidney failure. It is often linked to food such as spinach, lettuce, unpasteurized milk, unpasteurized apple cider, soft cheeses made from raw milk, or undercooked or raw meat. If you look at the data, you'll see that leafy greens kind of lead the way. Right now, with shiga toxin producing E. coli outbreaks, said James Roger, directors of Food Safe Research and Testing at Consumer Reports. Of the 26 people of the CDC has interviewed so far as part of its investigation into the source of the E. coli outbreak, 22 said they'd eaten at Wendy's in the week before their illness starts. 10 patients have been hospitalized, but no deaths have been reported. The CDC recorded the first E. coli case in this outbreak July 26 and the most recent case on August 8, but that data may not include the latest illness, according to the CDC, since it typically takes three to four weeks to determine if new cases are linked to an outbreak. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.